Chaiki money flow is a technical indicator which determines if an instrument is under accumulation or distribution. Chaiki money flow compares the closing price to the high low range of the trading session. If the price closes near the high of the session with increased volume, the Chaiki money flow increases in value. If the price closes near the low of the session with increased volume, the Chaiki money flow decreases in value. Chaikin money flow measures buying and selling pressure over a set period of time and is a popular indicator among the traders who use volume technical analysis. Along with the unbalanced volume, the Chaikin money flow is tracking the money flow on a market. What are the settings of this volume indicator? Traders generally use 20 periods or 21 periods for calculating the Chaikin money flow indicator. Some traders also use the 50 period Chaikin money flow to determine the accumulation and distribution on the longer term. Chaikin money flow settings with values over 30 make the indicator less sensitive. This will result in fewer but better quality signals. Chaikin money flow settings with values below 20 make the indicator oversensitive. This will result in more market noise. Lower settings on the Chaikin money flow should be carefully traded as it can lead to many false signals. How to read Chaikin money flow? Chaikin money flow is used by traders to confirm the market trend. CMF values above zero indicate an uptrend, while CMF values below zero suggest a downtrend. When the Chaikin money flow indicator is above zero level, this is a bullish signal. And when the Chaikin money flow is below zero level, this is a bearish signal. Chaikin money flow usually stays between minus 0.5 and 0.5 levels and rarely reaches its maximum or minimum values of minus 1 and 1. A movement of the Chaikin money flow from negative to positive or vice versa doesn't suggest a change in trend. So remember this observation because in choppy markets, the CMF generates many false signals. The Chaikin money flow is also used by traders to confirm the strength behind an uptrend or a downtrend. In this regard, the indicator resembles the average directional movement or the ADX, which also measures trend strength. Chaikin money flow confirms the breakouts of support and resistance levels. During an uptrend, if a breakout of resistance occurs while the CMF reaches new highs, this suggests that the bulls are taking control of the market. This is a signal of an uptrend continuation. During a downtrend, if a breakout of a support occurs while the CMF reaches new lows, this suggests that the bears are taking control of the market. This is a signal of downtrend continuation. However, the Chaikin money flow has a problem. The CMF is not handling gaps very well. For example, if a gap occurs on the upside and closes at a lower price, the money flow would give you a negative figure, despite the bullish price increase. How to read market conditions with Chaikin money flow? Values between 0.5 and 0.25 indicate buying pressure from the bulls. This is a sign of accumulation and that the market trades in an uptrend. Values between 0.25 and 0.4 indicate that the bulls are in control of the market. This indicates that the market is in a strong uptrend. Values between 0.4 and 1 indicate that the bulls are in full control of the market. This indicates that the market is in a very strong uptrend. Values between minus 0.05 and minus 0.25 indicate selling pressure from the bears. This is a sign of distribution and that the market trades in a downtrend. Values between minus 0.25 and minus 0.4 indicate that the bears are in control of the market. This indicates that the market is in a strong downtrend. And values between minus 0.4 and minus 1 indicate that the bears are in full control of the market. 
This indicates that the market is in a very strong downtrend. Values between minus 0.05 and 0.05 signals a decision-making period. When the CMF trades between these levels, the bulls and bears are putting pressure to take control of the market. This area is often marked by choppiness and is better to be avoided. How to trade with Chaikin money flow? One of the most common ways in which traders use the CMF indicator is to take signals when the oscillator crosses the zero level. When the CMF indicator crosses above zero, a buy signal is generated, and when the CMF indicator crosses below zero, a sell signal occurs. If we analyze this chart, we can observe some decent signals offered by the Chaikin Money Flow indicator, but being a volume indicator by itself the CMF is not so reliable and it will offer many false signals. It's better to confirm the trend with another indicator. In this case, I like to use my old reliable 200 period moving average in order to determine the prevailing trend. When the price trades above the 200 period exponential moving average, we consider taking only long entries. And when the price trades below the 200 period EMA, we consider taking only short entries. Now entering the market is much simpler. We wait for the Chaikin money flow to cross above the zero level, above the 200 EMA, for a long entry. And we wait the Chaikin money flow indicator to cross below the zero level, below 200 EMA, for a short entry. And here's an even better entry. A smarter way to trade with the Chaikin money flow would be to plot the 0.5 and the minus 0.5 levels. In this way, you filter the choppiness around the zero level, take short entries below minus 0.05 level, and take long positions above the 0.05 level. Here are a few examples of valid CMF trades. Another strategy involves applying a moving average on the indicator. By adding a moving average on the Chaikin money flow, you can take crossover signals. Now, when you want to trade a crossover between the Chaikin money flow and the moving average, you should be aware of an important thing. A crossover will catch good movements when the markets are trending. When markets are trading in a range, the system is subject to false signals, which will lead to losing trades. A longer term moving average added on the Chaikin money flow will work better than a short term moving average. A longer term moving average will produce fewer signals. Also, this is not enough. This approach will generate many false signals if you don't confirm the trend with other tools. You cannot take a crossover signal without knowing the market trend. That's why I prefer to determine the prevailing trend in the market with Ichimoku indicator. For this setup, I plot only the Kumo cloud. So we plotted the Kumo cloud and we added a 200 period exponential moving average on the Chaikin money flow with the 21 period input. And the setup is simple. Buy only signals above the Kumo cloud when the Chaikin money flow crosses above the 200 period moving average. And sell only signals below the Kumo cloud when the Chaikin money flow crosses below the 200 period exponential moving average. Also, very important, we don't take entries when the price is inside the Kumo cloud. If a crossover between Chaikin money flow and the 200 EMA occurs when the market price is inside the Kumo cloud, we ignore the setup. We could enter a trade once the price closes above or below the cloud in the direction indicated by the crossover but never when the price is inside the cloud. Here are some examples of valid trades with the Kumo cloud as trend filter.
checking money flow is very useful for confirming the direction of the main trend. It works well during trending market conditions and is very good at confirming the strength of the main trend. In what concerns its limitations, in a choppy market many false signals are generated around the zero level, so be aware of this. Also, the CMF value is not accurate when big gaps occur on the market, so when you spot larger gaps maybe you should reanalyze the setup. I also found the Chaikin money flow quite unreliable on smaller time frames like the 1 minute or the 5 minute charts, so I would pay extra attention when using it for scalping. If you found value and learned something new, leave us a like to show your support and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.